Our mission on Earth is to protect life. So we design system, farming solution, so plants can grow in a more sustainable way. So Biopod is an environment control module and that is able to recreate ideal conditions for plants to grow. It's like the next generation greenhouse. It's 11 meters long, 6 meters wide and 5.4 meters high. Self-contained, fully autonomous. Total volume of around 150 cubic meters. So it's a smart device that recreates any type of microclimate inside its structure. Actually, you can grow approximately everything from alpine plants to subtropical species. It's a sealed bubble, so it means it doesn't harm the environment around. Bunch grass, orchids, cacti, and um, small trees. It captures the water, it captures the CO2, and it has no waste. It is easily deployable. It's made of an inflatable membrane and a composite base. It's designed so we can really have the best of the plants. Picture Biopod as a, as a cocoon, an ellipsoid, uh, full of life. we started by designing a station for the moon. We came up with the size of a, of a dome, an inflated structure that can fulfill the nutritional needs of four astronauts. Then from this design, we turn it into a product for Earth. We didn't want to go on the dystopian way uh, of a city full of stacked containers. Biopod had to be bio-inspired. Can play with a lot of different parameters in the biopod, like the temperature, the humidity, the CO2. You can also play with the light, you have a full adjustable spectrum inside, and also you have a high pressure aeroponic system and a large panel of nutrients. We worked on a set of sensors that are able to capture data of what exactly happened inside the biopod. When users actually operate biopod, it makes it super easy to access to this specific component. So it's very different from traditional farming because it's a, it requires less human intervention. Biopod is kind of a paradise to cultivate plants. Our mission is to reveal plant secrets. So the biopod can produce fruits with high nutrient concentration, can produce also cosmetic plants with specific oil concentration and produce pharmaceutical plants for metabolites. For example, for one of our customers, we actually have been playing with one species of geranium and this geranium has been developing new molecules that it usually doesn't grow in nature. So right now we're working with them on how to extract those molecules and so we can get essential oil and also perfume. And our goal in the future is to be able to build the largest library, the plant catalog, when we will be able to grow any type of plant and to preserve the biodiversity of our planet.